Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. Catching Fire, this little card game. I think when the Hunger Games came out, my wife is a big fan of Hunger Games. And I got a few of these games to kind of play with her, to maybe entice her with the theme. Uh, interesting enough, this is going to come with absolutely no art. Uh, there's little stick drawings, but uh, this is definitely going to be based on the books and not on the movie. So don't expect this to see Jennifer Lawrence or I don't know anybody else names in the movie. So uh, I guess Woody Harrelson. So... The art is going to be almost non-existent. This, this game is going to be almost all text. So nothing about it is going to be colorful. It's going to have these drab brown colors that I think detracts from the game. It's definitely not going to be a plus. The game is functional. The inclusion of the backpacks, and they only help you move around, was, was, was great to pick. Otherwise, the components are pretty pretty shabby and not very nice. The card stock is not very good, but you're not shuffling the cards all that much. So you'll be fine with that. I think for as much as you're going to want to play this. Um, the game is actually better than I thought it would be. I thought this would not be a very good game, and the game is okay. Uh, really, you're just planning for that turn. So you see the challenge card that comes up. You see how the game is going to score for that round. And then you're going to try to make that happen. Um, front of the line is normally better than the back of the line, and not... And hiding is worse than not hiding. So, those are a couple of rules. It's a simple game, but it's not a bad game. Uh, I don't think I'm going to keep this game. I'm going to purge this game only for the fact that it's such an ugly game. It's not going to draw me in. And, I mean, I, I see where they're going with the game. I don't feel like I'm in the Hunger Games, but the lineup and the hiding means you're not on camera. That makes sense. Like you're hiding in the woods or something. Maybe like Peter did in the movie where he was. Had the paint all over him. You know, you're hiding. Nobody's watching you, so they're not getting excited about you. Got that. Um, and then it's very abstract with with one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine with the characters. That it's very abstract. That maybe you're ahead in the game. Why two, six, and four? I mean, it's you lose me on that some of this. But for a card game, it's not terrible. I try to do something differently. I feel like the theme maybe a little pasted on. Um, but it's definitely better than numbers. Like, okay, number one, two, three. You know, having Katniss and Peeta and uh, I don't know other names. Hey, Midge. I don't know why Effie's in the uh, Hunger Games. Like, some of that doesn't make sense. Uh, you got Plutarch in the uh, Hunger Games. This is really bizarre. Otherwise, uh, a, a fine card game. It's fine, medium. But if you like Hunger Games, maybe it goes up a step for you. It might be one of my favorite, off the top of my head, one of my favorite Hunger Game themed or licensed games I played. If that means anything to you. So, um, not bad, but not enough for me to keep. So I'll be purging this game. So this is Catching Fire. It's a little card game from Shuffling the Deck. It comes in one of these little cheap boxes that will eventually just be ruined but you kind of need it because the cards fit in here so nicely otherwise you're just going to be thrown around uh you're gonna get some of these backpack cards which are kind of nice because they bend here to make it very easy to pick up cards it's going to be very you think this is a waste it is not a waste this is so nice to have even though they're cheap you're going to get a deck of cards and here's your if you're a fan of the movie here are your character cards. This is Effie, if you remember her from the movie. This is Johanna from the movie. Oh, you want to see what uh, Katniss looks like? This is Katniss. Wonderful. I almost think, if I, if I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing, uh, this Haymatch, remember him? This is Woody Harrelson. <laughs> uh, I think they got the license from the books. So I tease, but th this is the character. So if you're looking for something from the movie, this is not going to be it, I don't believe. So those are your character cards. 
and pretty generic. And then you're gonna get a number of these cars that will take effect. And these will have icons on them. I'll go over this in the flow of the game. And these are the hidden cards. You'll know that because they're hiding. They're two sided. Okay. And then here's your deck of challenge cards. It's going to be the main brunt of the game. These are very cheap cards. The artwork is terrible, to almost non existent. And they're very thin and cheap. So these are not nice at all. They will be totally ruined. They uh, shuffle okay, but just really, really cheap. I can't imagine you wanting to sleeve these, though. I can't imagine you wanting to do that. Oh, the, game, the game is fine. It's not a terrible game, but it's just can't imagine you wanting to, to sleeve it. But you might need to with this game. As for the rules, you're going to get a, a fold-out black and white piece of paper. Uh, nothing grand, but the rules are pretty crisp and clear. You're going to get um, advanced rules, which you should immediately jump into. I do like the hidden the hidden mechanic in the game, so that's pretty neat. I've not known exactly what it is, but it's going to be pretty simple to figure it out rather quickly, uh, I think, in most games. Uh, there are rules for more players, and the rules are pretty clear. So th I'm not terrible. I never heard of the company shuffling the deck card game. I think that's the name of the company, oh, WizKids. I have heard of WizKids. Uh, cheap presentation, but the rules do work. So Catching Fire rules book would be would be fine for me. Okay, the way the game is set up, you're gonna lay out nine backpacks. I only put six here to get it all in frame, and then you will you will take the characters with with these on it, shuffle them up, and lay them out in an order. In addition, each player is gonna secretly get dealt these character cards. You're not gonna know who you are or who the other players are. So let's say you get three, and you know that you're Johanna. Katniss and Peta, and what you're trying to do is score as many points as possible with these guys without letting everybody else know who you are. So these will be out there, and these backpacks are pointless. They're just so you can pick up and move people, uh, and you'll see how that goes. And so what you'll do is you'll shuffle these challenge cards, and you'll have this challenge deck, which will come out each turn, and you'll have. Uh, these what are called movement cards will be shuffled up and you'll have three of these out and that's going to be the setup for catching fire that's how the game is going to be set up now a turn is going to be really simple on a turn you can play a movement card you choose one of the face up movement cards and you do what it says so for example this one might be uh, or remove one character from hiding. So sometimes the characters will be flipped over and be in hiding, and you can flip back over to the side. That's important because your character cannot score points if they're in hiding. Uh, help to escape, move any two adjacent characters three spaces backwards. So let's say we choose this movement card. We take any two adjacent characters and move them back three spaces. So you move them to the back of the line. And you'll see why that's important. The, 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 usually what's gonna happen is the people at the front of the line are gonna score points or towards the front are gonna score points and the back won't. And the way you're gonna make your decisions is you're gonna have a challenge card that's gonna be up. It's gonna score at the end of the round. So you know the characters in space six, four, and two are gonna have one public support if they are not in hiding. So whoever's two, four, and six, you want that to be your person so you can score points. Um, and the way that you're going to do points is, and I'll, I'll get to that, but just know this is kind of what you're working towards. You want as many of your guys here, but you don't really want to show your hands. So it's a little bit of a give and take. And so you can choose one of these movement cards that will progress you towards that happening based on who your people are. Second thing is you can remove all characters from hiding. So if there were people flipped over, you can remove them all. And sometimes you'll be taking your opponent's guys out of hiding. Um, if all of your guys are in hiding, that's a good move. So that can be a tricky one. Where and it, with this card's a little bit different, where it only moves one character from hiding. So you can just do your character, or one of your three characters, or maybe an opponent's character, or somebody you don't think is in the game, just to throw people off. Um, 
you can attempt to form an alliance. Um, and what you're trying to do at this point is you're trying to guess who the other people are. So if the other people are Peta, Finnick, and Plutarch, then you would try to guess that. If you guess correct, they have to reveal their secret character, uh, who they are. Um, let's see one of these. So let's say Haymitch, Finnick, and Plutarch. These are the characters. If they were Finnick, and you said that, they would have to go face up on the Finnick. Um, and then the player who was correct would gain half of the public support they have. And that can never be taken away, so that can be pretty important. If you're incorrect, they don't turn over the secret card. And the person, that's just the action for the turn for the player, so he's going to take another action. So uh, it was kind of a wasted turn, if you will. And then the last thing you can do is pass. So you can take one of these movement cards and move the cards around. You can try to guess who somebody's secret character is. Or you can remove all the characters from hiding. That's what you can do. And then at the end of your turn, whatever this is will happen. And what you do is you will take two, four, and six. So two will get a card into them, which is useless. It's now the game. So, And then this card that you played will get over here on the six person. So now Cena, Effie, and Haymitch, two, four, and six have cards into them which represent victory points. These can be lost and, and stolen to some point, um, but for the most part. And that's the game. So you're constantly moving people around based on these cards uh, to try to get your player in position to score whatever card is out. So the last character not in hiding must go into hiding. So you know what's going to happen. So you don't want your characters to be in hiding because you can't score points when they're in hiding. So you will try to maybe put somebody else's character, and little by little, you start getting information about who is who, and it's not that difficult to figure out who everybody is. So um, that's pretty much how it works. So you can move, use one of these cards that are face up, new one comes out in the end of the deck, take everybody out of hiding, or try to guess who somebody is. Very simple card game. Um, that is Catching Fire. Who should buy this game? Fans of card games that want a simple card game that plays a little bit differently. So, you know, it's 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 a little bit more complex, a little bit more to it than, say, like Lost Cities. But the hidden mechanic isn't as good as, say, Resistance. Um, if you're a fan of the Hunger Games, this may be the best Hunger Games, at least I can think of off the top of my head, that I've played. Um, so if you like something themed, but it's going to be themed from the book. So don't expect any pictures or stills from the movie. Otherwise, it's a try before you buy. This is going to be a, not a hard pass, although I'm purging it. It's just not going to fit into my collection. Um, I think if it's themed for the movies, it might stay in. And that sounds strange. I don't mind. There's nothing in it that's like, oh, that was in the book. and not the movie. I never read the books. But it was just a matter of those pictures and that bringing the movie to life probably would have stuck with me more. Um, but a license is a license. So there's nothing to do about that. Uh, Catching Fire is a purge. But I wouldn't say for you to pass on this game necessarily without playing it.